I was confronted today about a Facebook post or post. And that person told me that he or she got offended by what I wrote. I did not say any names. I did not say John is going to hell or Sue is going to hell or Pastor Bob is going to hell. No. What I usually write is if you continue in a certain sin or continue to do wrong, you are going to hell. Or something like that. And that person get offended by, I guess, one or more post. I don't know. And when he or she told me that he or she got offended, I was thinking, whatever. <laughs> and what came to me, people know that they are doing wrong, but some people don't like being told that they are doing wrong. They believe that God is going to sit idle and they believe that they can do as they please and God is not really going to do anything to them. So for you to come there and warn people and say that, hey, stop your sins or perish or go to hell, they get mad at you. But when times get hard, then that is when those same people come crying to you, which is crazy. Why not take the warning now? People's hearts are getting harder. No matter how much they know about God, some people don't care. They just want to do their own thing. Now, I don't know if that person is serving God or not. I don't know. But to come to me and get offended about a hell post? <laughs> a Christian getting offended by a hell post? Something is not right. I can say that. Listen. What came to me also, and I can't be wrong about this, but I don't believe I am. Persecution on the saints, on the real Christians, not this lukewarm, false Christian, no. The true Christian, the true Christians, persecution, bad things are going to happen to us. Or more persecution is going to happen to us. So this is the best time to show God how loyal you are to him. When being a Christian is seen as a very bad thing. So give people the full gospel. Even if they are going to hate you for it, whatever. There is a drunkard that I speak to every so often. And when I speak to that person, I am telling that person about repenting, and changing his ways and he doesn't like it <laughs> I don't care I don't care do it anyway now there may be some people that may threaten to punch you or they may begin to yell at you or stuff like that 
do what you have to. And someone emailed me and I did not read the whole email. I believe a person is getting in trouble for telling others about God. That is crazy. So that is telling you more that people are just, their hearts are getting more and more hard. So this is the best time to show God how loyal you are to him. There may be a time where if you pass out Bibles to people in America, you may be thrown into prison for that. How great would that be suffering for God? Yes, I know that we don't want to go to jail and prison and stuff like that, yes. But God is watching. And for everything that we are doing for him, including our obedience to him, we are going to be rewarded for that. So nothing that we do for God is in vain. Everything counts. So show God how loyal you are to him. Let me say this too. Prepare yourself for death. There may be a time where you may die because you are a Christian. So think about it and contemplate on that every day. I know for myself, I think about that each day, about dying for God. I am not saying that I want to die, like be killed or shot in the head and stuff like that. I am not saying that, but what I am trying to do, I guess you can say, is if the time comes, it is not going to be a huge shock or something like that. Like I am trying to mentally prepare myself for it, which we all need to do that. Because what are you going to do when it is time to die for God if a Muslim or whatever else have a gun pointing at you, asking you if you are a Christian, are you going to say no? How crazy is that? How crazy is that? De denying God in front of him. God is omnipresent everywhere, all at the same time. So can you actually say no? <laughs> what if you say no, and they shoot you anyway. You denied God, then died. That is a sin. So, do you believe that you are going to heaven afterward? No. So, mentally prepare yourself for death, for being a Christian. If you are lukewarm, hey, stop being lukewarm. <laughs> Either go to Satan or come to God. Either be hot or cold. So let me stop here. God bless you.